and hi everyone. So lately, Brackies, one of the biggest game development channels on YouTube, threw a new challenge, where the goal is to create a video game in only 10 minutes. The challenge is quite of a success right now, however nobody has made a VR game for the moment. So I decided to participate by recreating my favorite VR game, Beat Saber. Without further ado, let's start a challenge. So we are away with your NMT Unity project. I'm uh, quickly creating three materials. You can already see that I've downloaded two assets from the asset store, the Oculus integration and the post-processing stack that we will use later on for giving us a nice beat saber look going on. So uh, here we have uh, three materials, a red one, a black one and a blue one. I'm giving some emission to the red materials and some emission also for the blue materials. I think an intensity of one will be enough. I don't need the main camera, neither the directionalizer, I'm removing them and I will be adding the OVR camera rig, which is basically the camera for for the uh, which is basically the cam for our VR application. Now we will create the player ground that we see in Beat Saber and I will remove the box collider and add the black material that we just created. I will duplicate it first and add uh, some lengths to it. I will duplicate it again and give it a length of 30 by 30 by 100. You can see that I am able to see the materials from the inside and that's because we've used a two-sided materials. So now that we have uh, quite our level created, I'm adding the post-processing B behavior to my camera under the OVR camera rig and I will be adding the uh, some features to it like a bloom and some uh, and some color grading using the tone mapper filmic and uh, adding a post exposure of 2.02 so now that we have set we can create also some lines which we will be using uh, with red and blue materials so I'm using uh, like this line of 30 meters by 220 uh, centimeters uh, I'm duplicating it and I will add the red materials. I'm duplicating it again and give it the blue materials right there. So we are starting to have a nice look going on. I'm now focusing on the saber and I will add under the left hand intro and the right hand intro all saber which will be a cube. Uh, the saber will be a one meter of length, as you can see right there, and I'm adding some position uh, to it because I want the saber to start under my uh, uh, my hands. Okay, so now that we have our saber, we will create the famous cube for, from Beat Saber. I will give it a scale of 0 0.4 and I will duplicate it to help the player to know where to hit the target. So for example, the cube which is right there will be hit from the above. I'm adding now the black materials and also uh, red materials. I will be creating a prefab for the red material for the red cube, sorry, and for the blue cube. Okay, so now we need our cube to move forward. So I'm adding this little script and I will go under my update methods and add this single line of code which will uh, move the player for, which will move the player forward. Um, here I'm using a speed of 2 by multiplying the position by di time dot delta time uh, multiplied by 2. So our cube will basically spawn and then go forward uh, and moving and at a velocity of 2 meters per second. Now that we have our cubes, we want to instantiate them, them randomly. I'm creating there a spawner which will be um, far from the player and I'm adding now this little script. So what do we need for our spawner? We need the cube prefab, which will be right there using our game object cubes, and we need some points where the cube will be instantiated. Also, uh, the bit there will be the time where the cube is instantiated. I want also a timer, which will basically count for us the time remaining between two beats and between two spawn of the cube. 
Right there, I'm uh, randomly uh, selecting our cube, so the cube will be either uh, either uh, blue or either uh, red, and I'm uh, instantiating it at a random position. So, uh, if I want the cube to be uh, to to not move, I'm just uh, checking the local position of the cube and setting it to a value of zero. Me zero 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 uh, i'm also going to add a rotation to our cube using rotate uh, function and the rotation will be random so the cube will be either right left up or down now i will update our timer and add its uh, time dot delta time every frame Okay, so uh, right there I was trying to initialize my, my beat by uh, dividing 60 by 130. Uh, this is not the good value because the song that we'll be using is Unity by the Fat Rat, a famous song and an amazing song, but the song is 105 beats per minute. So if I want to know how many beats, uh, how many seconds between two bits, beat i want to divide 105 by 60. okay so now that we know that we want to set our spawner script i will add the prefab blue and red and i will also create some point where the queue will be instantiated so right there i'm adding two queue two empty game object under spawner i will duplicate them and now i will lock the i will lock the spawner and add uh, or four um, or four game object that we just created. So now the beat will be like I said, 105 divided by 60. Not that thing. No. Okay, 101. No. Yes. 60 divided by 105. Sorry, which will represent the time between two beats. And if I multiply that by two, that will be the time between two beats. Okay, so our spawner is cor correctly is is correct for now, but only red cube are spawned. This is because I didn't change the materials under our blue cube. Okay, and I will also add uh, the layer for blue cube. This is because I want to um, uh, check when I will be cutting our cube if it's a red cube or a blue cube, and I will use the la the layer here. So I will add now the saber script that we will use to cut the cube. For the saber script I want a layer mask, which will be the layer of the cube we want to cut. So if uh, I have a, ray, uh, uh, a red saber, I want to cut a red cube, and if I have a blue saber, I want to hit blue cube. I will check every frame uh, if my saber is cutting using a raycast. So the raycast is starting from my ends, going forward, and will have a length of 1. Okay, and also the layer of the regas will be the layer of the cube we want to hit. So now if I check the velocity of our saber using transform.position minus our previous position, that with the cube transform.up, which will be the direction we want to edit. And if this direction is superior to, uh, let's say, 130, it means that we are hitting the cube in the right direction and now we can destroy it. Okay, so now that we've added our saber uh, s script, we are uh, not, uh, uh, we are, we don't have much time remaining. So I will add the song Unity by the Fatra directly under my scene. And I will, I will select the good layer for our, our saber. So for my left hand, I will use the red uh, layer. And for my right hand, I will use the blue layer. I didn't change the materials of our s cube, which are our saber. So I'm doing that uh, right now. And if I press play, I can see that I have little thing under my hands. And I can move them correctly. Okay, and the spawn, the cube are spawning right through. Uh, 
So now I will add uh, some feature because I have some time remaining. I will add some uh, uh, fog, uh, which will give us a nice look here, like that. Okay, perfect. Okay, I think that everything is fine. We have like uh, not uh, much uh, time uh, remaining. I have my OVR camera rig. And I think we're good to go. Okay, so now if I hit the cube, we can see that it's correctly cutting it. Right, right. So the cube are spawning correctly. And maybe if I try to hit the cube on the wrong direction, it doesn't work, so it's working basically. And we are good. 